Hey, how's it going? You're the one in this truck right here, right? That's been sitting there over a half hour? This very first one here, this Arthur? That's you, right? It's pretty fucked up you've been there over a half hour. You're fucked up. Fucked up, man. And this is to be plastered all over video. Enjoy your fucking life. All right. Welcome back, guys. Here's another story time for you, courtesy of the Married to the Road. They are a couple, a married couple, trucking couple. Uh, they were stuck in the fuel island for a little bit at the Flying J. The young lady here complains that the driver of this Arthur truck has been away from the truck for almost in half an hour, 45 minutes or so. So let's see what they have to say and we'll come back. Tell us. Oh, it's such a long story. We got time. I saw it happen. Hold on. Welcome all my readies. So I kind of want to explain this video to you guys. So we are in a uh, Flying J here in Virginia, stuck behind this truck for almost 45 minutes waiting for us to fuel. We were in the first fuel island and all the other fuel islands were super busy and there was no way that we could back up. There just wasn't enough space. So we sat here and we waited and we waited and we waited. And as you can see, there is nobody fueling this truck. There's nobody adding death to this truck and there's nobody inside the truck. Larry had gone up to the truck several times to see if there was anybody up there to see what was going on, why this driver was not moving his truck and blocking the first lane. There was nobody in the sleeper berth and there was nobody up front in the driver or passenger seat. At this point, we're getting pretty darn frustrated because we can't back up. There's too many other trucks and all the other fuel lanes. And we've been stuck behind this truck driver for almost 45 minutes waiting on somebody to come out. And at this point, we kind of made a joke about, oh, wouldn't it be funny if that guy went inside and was taking a shower? Because, you know, we've all seen it. But we sat here and we waited and we waited. And at this point, Larry is pretty darn frustrated. And you'll see in a few minutes that Larry does confront the gentleman. And I do want to give a warning that Larry does use some adult language. So if you don't like adult language, don't continue this video. But you got to understand, we've been behind this trucker for 45 minutes and Larry was pretty frustrated at this point. And the worst part about it is when this guy does finally come out and we do finally see him heading to the truck. Sure as shit, he did have his shower bag in hand. So I believe the gentleman had gone in, left his truck in the first fuel lane to go in and take a shower, which is a really shitty move, especially considering that every single fuel island was busy and this was a very, very busy truck stop. So <clears throat> you'll see here in just a few minutes, we finally were able to back up and get around this gentleman. And as soon as we backed up and started to go park, that's when we saw the gentleman walking out to his truck with his shower bag in hand. And then the worst part about it was he went to go put his shower bag in the passenger side of his truck and then started heading back into the truck stop like he had forgotten snacks or something. So it wasn't bad enough that he tied up the fuel island for 45 minutes, but here you go. Hey, how's it going? You're the one in this truck right here, right? That's been sitting there over a half hour? This very first one here, this Arthur? That's you, right? It's pretty fucked up you've been there over a half hour. You're fucked up. Fucked up, man. And this is to be plastered all over video. Enjoy your fucking life. So as you guys see in the video, uh, so, uh, her guy, Larry, let's let's call him Larry, was of course kind of upset. He was frustrated, like we all would be. We all been in this uh, precarious situations of people just going into the fuel island and just parking there for reasons. The biggest gripe, the biggest pet peeve of all truck drivers is kind of breaking in the fuel island okay and i get it especially if you're one of them truck drivers that's kind of busy needs to get up there needs to fuel needs to get back up on the road i feel you okay 
I've been there. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I break in the fuel island, but there has been many a situations that when emergency comes, <laughs> the first thing you're going to do is probably get up to the fuel island. But in this situation right here, shout out to this young lady and her her trucker husband. Uh, I, I feel them. I, I feel their pain. But there are issues with this pain. Now, I get it. You want to come and make content and put this driver on blast. As you guys see, the, the Larry gentleman confronted the driver. And what I want to say about that is, is that's something that you don't want to do. I mean, there's there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of things that's going on with truck drivers these days. We we hear stories all the time of road raging with drivers, drivers killing their cold drivers, drivers killing their trainers, drivers just getting into fights over whatever reasons. That's why I don't confront you guys no more. Like I used to I used to have like casual conversations with you guys in the fuel island. All that's dead. Cuz I I don't know what you're going to say to me whether you want to be bothered or not. Probably woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Somebody in your family probably something happened. Your fleet manager has been fucking with you all day and you got somebody like this gentleman coming to you with the camera all up in your face and just just trying to get content for for whatever i i highly would suggest not to do that because in this situation everything was pretty cool but what would have happened if that gentleman would have turned around and did some harm to him then the next video will be who will be in the wrong. Would the uh, would the uh, Larry guy be in the wrong for confronting this driver simply because he was in the fuel island, or would the driver be in the wrong because he felt his life was in danger and he protected himself? There's something that you guys should start to think. I mean, I think about that all the time. I I, I see you in the fuel island. I'm, I'm cool. If another spot opens up, I just roll over there. And there was plenty of comments in this commentary, in this lady's commentary, was saying, hey, why y'all just didn't move over to the other fuel line when the other fuel line uh, uh, opened up? Now, let me explain something about that. Like, if you got a whole bunch of trucks behind you. See, tell me, how many trucks do you see? I see one, unless I've been drinking. Hey, boy, do it to it. Well, then I must be commode hanging drunk, but I swear I see a ton of trucks. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to back up, even, even back up enough to get in the next lane because there's trucks behind you. You're gonna to need to back up a little bit because you're not just driving the truck in the lane, you're driving the trailer as well. And if you get over at a certain angle, that trailer is not gonna follow right. So that could have been that situation that they pretty much had to wait. But it looks like the encounter of it all happened right after everything had happened obviously they must have got out they must have got into another lane they was they was able to get some fuel because the larry guy confronted the driver while the truck was still in the in the lane so i i just wanted to say courtesy ethnics what i'm saying just know that this is our pet peeves with the fuel islands but then again, as I said before, we, we I, you don't know what was going on with this guy and the reason why he was gone so long. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe he did take a shower. 
maybe he was on the phone maybe maybe just maybe but i i just think coming to a situation aggressively it would have been it would have did more harm than good than just coming to the driver and probably simply say hey bro i was behind you for 45 minutes man are you all right are you good can you move up because if you're not getting fuel or anything like that can you move up maybe he was in there with the with the uh what do you call it the cash register cash people whatever maybe they was having a hard time with his fuel card i guess i don't know but still aggression during these times with these truck drivers in my opinion is not it's not a good step but somebody did comment to this young lady karen who the f is about that your f rookie rookie with a phone hold on okay your comment first of all is juvenile i'm not a goddamn rookie i've been out here for eight years but uh whatever you call me karen i really don't care i'm a goddamn truck driver and i've got a thick skin i really don't give a shit you don't know who we are you don't know what the circumstances were so keep scrolling in that response, the way she re responded to the commenter, I think the commenter kind of expressed the same thing. You didn't know what was going on. You don't know, uh, uh, didn't know him or whatever the case. So again, guys, I mean, for me, we all been there. It's frustrating. Another commenter said something about pull kingpin. You definitely don't want to do that. That is an instant ass whooping if we catch you. Message. If I catch you messing with my truck, hey, hey, we ain't talking. I ain't going to ask you why. I ain't going to do none of that. Because you're not going to put my life in danger just because I held yours up for a couple of minutes. Again, I understand the frustrations. We all been there. But touching another person's equipment just to prove a point is not a good look for you questions comments let's get the conversation started in the comments below what do you guys think what do you guys think everything is content everything so do you think that the larry guy was in the right for confronting the driver or do you think uh do you think it could have been better served elsewhere what do you think let me know in the comments below. Big cheese got it locked. Boy.